Hello everybody, this is my second smartwatch review and this time we are going to look at the IQI i2 smartwatch. You are not going to see an unboxing of this watch, but instead we're going to have a quick look at the default interface of this watch and then I'm going to show you how to change to a different launcher that includes your own watch faces. And there's a spoiler alert. It's not going to go well at the end of the video. The watch is equipped with the new MTK6580 quad-core processor and has a 512MB RAM and a 4GB ROM memory configuration. This is a very luxurious looking watch. It has a beautiful leather band and a full metal case that's built like a tank. The backplate is made of aluminium. It has a single power button, a microphone and a speaker and on the back plane it has a heart rate sensor. When you receive the watch, you'll also receive a docking station with USB cable and a flat screwdriver. First things first, we're going to take a look at the standard user interface that installed by IQI on this watch. There are a great number of watch faces installed in this version. I'm not going to show you all of them, but instead we're going to have a quick look through this interface. Here's the central clock. Going up, you'll see the weather info. Then to the left, there is the step counter, the general settings, and uh, information clock. We have notifications. The apps are to the right. If you also want to unleash the full potential of this watch, you need to install four apps. Two of them are free and two are paid. The paid ones are Nova Launcher Prime and Zuper Pro. The free ones are Home 2 Shortcut and Twisted Home Launcher. So now I will show you what happens if you have installed all four apps. First you start Twisted Home Switcher. With this you will be able to change the launcher. You will see that there are three launchers installed. Home 2 Shortcut, Nova Launcher and the watch itself. We'll use Home 2 Shortcut as the new default launcher. To do that, we we'll first have to press Clear Default. This will take you into the app settings of the watch launcher, where you can clear its default. Once that is done, you can press the power button. Now the watch will ask you what the new launcher will be. Choose Home 2 Shortcut as the new launcher. Now the watch will start in Nova Launcher when you press power. The first time you press power, after you set Home 2 Shortcut as your default launcher, you have to press Always to continue using Home 2 Shortcut as your default homepage. It only needs to be done once. The reason why I use Home 2 Shortcut as the default launcher has a special reason. If you do this, uh, the power button will have two functions. Pressing once will power on or return you to the default home page. Pressing twice will turn off the clock. So without rooting, you have a dual function on your power button. Here, I'm just finishing up my setup by including the home to icon onto my desktop. Now I'm going to show you how to configure home to shortcut. So it launches Nova Launcher. First, you scroll down to step one. Choose application. It's already set here, but choose application, installed applications, and go for Nova Launcher. Press OK. Then scroll down to step three. And here also, choose home application, Nova Launcher, Press OK and then scroll down, step 4, close. That's all you have to do. Now here's a little problem I've encountered. Sometimes if you press power it doesn't return to the home page. Then you need to go back to Twisted Home Switcher and just select Nova Launcher once and it'll reset the home page in Nova Launcher. It occurs sometimes. If you know what to do, it's a quick fix.
I press home, nothing happens. So I go to Twisted Home Launcher, press Nova Launcher once, and here's my default clock face. Press home, and it's back again. That's how it should be. Here are some watch faces already installed. Uh, the Tag Heuer one, I don't know who made it. I just adapted it. And the second one is a V22 by Ken van Vliet. And I've programmed it to work with Zuper. And the third one is from Andrew Davis, the Omega Rio 2016. Well, there are no volume buttons on this watch. So I installed a widget with two touch buttons that control the volume. Also, Nova Launcher has a toggle dock button, so you can switch the dock on and off. And you can see that the icons of the dock will float over the widgets. With the i2 watch, I tested the microphone. I'm about one and a half meters away from the watch. With a normal voice, I say, what's the time? And the internal microphone picks it up perfectly. This also demonstrates the Wi-Fi connection of this watch. It works flawlessly. But at this point, we are going to take a look at the internals of the watch. Here I've opened the back. You can see the four screws are held in place by the rubber gasket, which takes good care of keeping the moisture out. Here's an overview of the internals. I'll zoom in a bit. Looking at the insides on the left bottom, we are seeing a 3G connector that goes to the band. On the right, there's a Wi-Fi connector and a GPS connector. At the top, there's a microphone soldered in to the PCB. At the bottom, they've soldered in a speaker, the connector for the sensor. We have the 3G nano SIM module. We have a speaker connected to the bottom. Here is the touchscreen connector and on the right the LCD connector. Here's the battery connector that has two additional battery voltage pads, which makes it possible to replace the battery with a generic one and solder the leads to these voltage pads. And on top there's the power button with its connector. Putting back the aluminum backplate, just line up the pogo pins with the PCB and put it softly back in place. You have to wiggle it a bit and you'll feel it snap into place. Now, for fastening the screws I use a crosswise method. First you tighten them slightly to the touch. Then you cross over and do the other one. I had a little trouble tightening this one because I had to hold my arms around the camera to do this. Now I take the bottom one just tight to the touch, cross over, and tighten the other one. There's a rubber gasket inside, which will take care of the sealing, so you don't have to twist them too hard. Now tighten them back, and when you feel it, just turn them one quarter screw extra. And, and when you feel it tighten, just turn one quarter extra, and it's good enough. Here's the last one. Now we go to the clasp. You can see on the back, uh, it is set from my wrist and it's already on the last hole. And I guess that will be a problem for a lot of people. The watch band itself is good, but it's just too short. So I found a simple solution and that's replacing the clasp with this double butterfly clasp. So I'm going to show you how it's done. It's quite simple actually. First we have to remove the clasp. We already have this flat screwdriver which comes in handy to remove this. Hold it between your fingers and on the inside there is a pin with a latch. Just push it down until you feel it shift out of the hole. And there it's done. Okay. Now we have to remove the pin has some springs in it 
that's why you get them out and remove the center pin okay and here is where it goes wrong oops made an error have to order a new one so you'll see another video of me replacing the clasp I hope you like this video and are also interested in buying the IQI i2 smartwatch. Details on how to get it are in the description below.